What's going on guys? Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we got a brand new video for you. We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 puffers for a saltwater tank. Now if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video because I upload a new video every single week. Now in today's video, we are going to dive into the top 10 puffers for a saltwater aquarium. And the reason that we say saltwater aquarium is because they're not the best candidates for a reef tank. Now, the reason that puffers are not ideal candidates for a reef tank is due to the fact that corals and invertebrates are on the menu list. So if you're going to take one of these guys and add them to your established reef tank, you're basically bringing them to the buffet. Now, nobody wants to set up a reef tank and then just watch their newest addition just tear through their corals and their invertebrates. So it's incredibly important, not just with puffers, but with just about any saltwater fish. If you have an established aquarium, you definitely want to make sure that you are doing your research prior to adding them to your tank because not all fish are reef safe. Make sure you do your research, do your homework before adding new fish to your aquarium. You're going to be much happier that you did. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 puffers for your saltwater tank is the Leopard Puffer. Now, as far as coloration goes with puffers, this guy has some pretty interesting markings, and they tend to be on the top and bottom half of this fish. And you also have the leopard thing going on there, but there's some pretty incredible blues and oranges going on on the top and bottom. As far as price point goes with the Leopard Puffer, you can typically find them anywhere from $30 to $40.00. And whether or not they're on sale, that's really going to dictate the price as well as the size. As far as care level with the Leopard Puffer, you're talking moderate care level. It has a peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet. So he's going to be eating a little bit of the allergies and a little bit of the meats. Considered reef safe with caution. So one of the very few puffers uh, that has the potential to actually do okay in a reef tank. Their max size, this is an incredibly small puffer three inches and minimum tank size 30 gallons check it out the leopard puffer coming in at number nine on our top 10 is the porky pine puffer probably one of the most common puffers and definitely one of the ogs when it comes to saltwater aquariums as far as price point goes with this guy typically you can find them anywhere from 70 to 90 dollars really depends on the size and whether or not that the porcupine is on sale. As far as the stats go, this guy is a moderate care level puffer. He's semi-aggressive in his temperament, has an omnivore based diet, is not considered reef safe, uh, much like most puffers. And he can grow pretty big. He can get as big as a foot and requires a minimum tank size of 180 gallons. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 puffers for your saltwater tank is the Stars and Stripes Puffer. This guy's patriotic. As far as colorations go with this guy, not the most colorful puffer on this list. A lot of muted colors, some yellows in there, and has that typical puffer style body with his little beak. Uh, as far as price point goes with this guy, typically you're going to find him anywhere from 50 to $70. Uh, again, a lot has to do with the availability, the size. Um, there's not a huge amount of different morphs as far as the coloration goes. Uh, so that's really the driving factor behind price. Now, care level on this guy, he's one of the few puffers that is actually considered easy to care for. So that's a definite plus if you're looking to keep a puffer for the first time. Semi-aggressive in his temperament. He is a 100% carnivore, is not considered reef safe, and he can grow rather large, a foot and a half, and requires a minimum tank size of 180 gallons. Check him out, the Stars and Stripes Puffer. Coming in at number seven on our puffer top 10 is the Mimic Saddle Puffer. This is probably one of my most favorite, and I probably should have put them a little bit higher in the list. As far as coloration, he has some pretty interesting markings. has some very dark brown bars uh, running down the middle and on the ends of this guy. has a very trigger-esque, almost filefish-style body, and goes into a yellow tail. Uh, as far as price point goes, probably one of the more inexpensive. I don't know why I said more. Uh, he's probably one of the most inexpensive puffers on this list. 
And that's definitely uh, something to note. It doesn't really matter where it's coming from, what the size is. You can typically find them anywhere from $15 to $20, depending on where you're picking them up. Uh, as far as care level goes, they are moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet, are reef safe with caution, so there is hopes that you could potentially get a puffer that's not going to chewy chomp on your inverts and your corals. One of the smaller puffers on this list, you can grow is four and a half inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Check them out, the Mimic Saddle Puffer. Coming in at number six on our top 10 is the Spotted Puffer. Again, a very friendly on the wallet puffer uh, and coloration has some pretty interesting markings. Kind of reminds me of a clown trigger in a way. Uh, has that puffer style body, kind of some muted browns going on in the background and clear fins very interesting looking fish and probably the most colorful thing about it is its eye it has almost like a teal and yellow uh, coloration going on pretty interesting puffer now i mentioned that it's pretty easy on the wallet typical asking price for this guy is 20 to 30 dollars depending on where you're picking him up and as far as the stats go he is a moderate care level puffer has a peaceful temperament that's something to note there has an omnivore based diet is reef safe with caution again you always want to make sure that you are testing any of these with caution fish prior to adding them to your reef tank he can grow upwards of five inches so he's not a huge buffer and requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons check him out the spotted puffer coming in at number five on our top 10 puffers for your saltwater tank is the bennett's sharp nose puffer now this is probably one of the most colorful puffers on this list definitely has some interesting markings going on has like some teals and some orangey brown colors going on even a little bit of striping by the eye and the eye is probably the most colorful thing on this fish has that gold orange blue thing going on definitely a interesting looking puffer price point fair uh, typical 35 to 40 dollars and as far as the stats go with this guy, he's a moderate care level puffer, peaceful temperament, omnivore based diet, is reef safe with caution, grows upwards of four inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. Check him out, the Bennett's Sharp Nose Puffer, coming in at number five. Coming in at number four on our top 10 is the Central American Sharp Nose Puffer. Now, price point, mid-level mid puffer. He's anywhere from $40 to $50 slash $60. Really kind of depends on the size with this one. As far as coloration goes, not the most colorful puffer on this list. Uh, it has a lot of like brownish hues going on, spotted. Very similar to the appearance of the spotted puffer that we already talked about on this top 10. And as far as care level goes, he is a moderate care level puffer, peaceful in its temperament, omnivore based diet, has a reef safe with caution attitude and can grow upwards of three and a half inches. So definitely not a huge puffer, uh, actually one of the smaller ones on this list and requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. Check them out, the Central American Sharp Nose Puffer, coming in at number four. Number three on our list on the top ten puffers is the Saddle Valentini Puffer Fish. This guy is an absolute beauty. Now, as far as price point goes, not too bad. Actually, pretty friendly on the wallet. Anywhere from $20 to $40, and that's going to depend on the region in which these puffers are coming from, as well as their size. Uh, they're found in Indonesia as well as Hawaii. The Hawaii variety, a little bit more expensive, obviously due to regulation. As far as coloration goes, definitely a gorgeous fish. Has some dark browns in the bars that go down the side as well as in the head. And around the eye, you have this beautiful green eye and then some striping that comes off the back. Yellow tail, beautiful, beautiful fish. As far as the stats on this guy, he is a moderate care level puffer, peaceful temperament, omnivore based diet, is reef safe with caution, can grow upwards of four inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Check him out, the Saddle Valentini Puffer. Coming in at number two in our top 10 puffers is the Spiny Box Puffer. Uh, this guy is not the most colorful 
puffer on this list, but definitely one of the craziest looking puffers. As far as price point goes, you can typically find them anywhere from 40 to $60, depending on their size. As far as the stats on these guys, they are a moderate care level puffer, semi-aggressive in its temperament, carnivore-based diet. Is not reef safe, grows upwards of 10 inches and requires a minimum tank size of 180 gallons. Coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 puffers is the blue spotted puffer. Now, as far as price point goes with this guy, anywhere is from 50 to 60 dollars, depending on its region where it's coming from, as well as its size. As far as the care level, this guy's a moderate care level. Peaceful temperament, omnivore-based diet, is reef safe with caution, grows upwards of four and a half inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about saltwater fish, check this video out. I will see you over there.